Welcome back to our show. This is Circle Live. Our next guest is ranked number one. That's mm. right, numero uno in the USA and number 10 in the world for the triple jump. My God, currently setting her sights on the 2020 Olympics, preparing to jump her way to victory again. Please welcome down to the circle, <laughs> Crystal Manning. Hey, Yay! Crystal. Yes. Hi. 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 Well, aren't you just gorgeousness Ooh. every day? I love it. Hi. Hi, welcome to the show. Hello, hello. hello. All right. Have a we'll seat, have a girl. seat, yes. Hi. Yeah, there you go. Well, welcome to the show, Crystal. We're very, very happy that you're here. And of okay. course, as we told Pastor Cora, mm -hmm. we're very, very stalkerish down to the mm -hmm. circle. And we saw a picture with you and, and Pastor T.D. Jakes on your Instagram. Yes. So has he been an a source of inspiration for you as well throughout your career? Or tell us a little bit about that. Yes, he has. I'm actually a member of the Firehouse yes. uh, Dallas mm -hmm. Vision. Actually, I currently are relocated, reside in Los Angeles, so I can train there. And I'm a m member and I attend um, One Church LA. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, I love him. He is a big inspiration. I started um, going to the church at freshman year of high school in Dallas and the New Year's Eve service. So that's my tradition every year, wherever I am. I would try to make that flight to attend the New Year's yes, service. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Now, you're hoping to beat the existing women's triple jump world record of 50 feet 10 inches. Mm. Yes. Yes. And then back That's in. So and, far. And yes, so tell us how you're going to do that. That's so far. That's I know. So far. That's so far to That's jump. That's so far to jump. Are you see yes. you hear yourself say that? <laughs> I did. That's a lot. That's okay. a long way to jump. Yeah, it is a long way to jump. But how are you going to do this, ma'am? Well, currently, I right now I train up to three times a day. Nice. And I eat a lot of food. <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing a weight train. I do pool workout, bounding, um, sprinting in the water, mm. um, sprinting on sand, mm -hmm. uphill runs. I do a lot of beach workouts. You know, I'm sprinting, yeah. beach bounding, running in the water too as well. So, so. You do, you're doing a whole lot. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, me and Rashawn, we love sports. We've played sports all our lives. What was it about um, sports that started you to want to? long jump mm -hmm. i mean because track track and field is so many different you know what i'm saying you can mm -hmm. run you do why long oh jump? it's triple jump triple, triple jump, jump, triple yeah. jump. My uh -huh. why tri and that, that's, that, that's harder because you can't yes. long jump but why triple jump why was that something that you just were drawn to and did and do you run too or was did you start off running and then do the field event yes i i started out spreading mm -hmm. in the hundred and then i got into jumps so from then you know, it's just a process as well. Triple jump is where I feel like I'm flying in the air. Wow. And I never got that feeling before. You know, sprinting is so easy. And mm. it's, e it's easier on, to easy. sprint, but <laughs> with triple jump, people don't understand that triple jump is 18 times your body weight each time you hit on the ground. Wow. So it's, you know, 18 nice. times. Good. So you have to be extre extremely strong. So yeah. I'm up at squatting, you know, 400 pounds. Yeah. Wow. And also, you know, also, you know, making sure my upper body is strong too. I do 45 uh, pound holes on each side and pressing up, just getting strong. And it's just, it's just a liberating experience, mm -hmm. you know? So just to feel like, you know, I don't actually have wings, but each time I hit, I feel like I'm, you know, flying You're above. Flying. Wow. Yes. Now, take us back to the day a few months ago when uh, you became, well, the 10th best female triple jumper in the world. What does that in accomplishment mean to you? <laughs> Honestly, it was, it was a great experience because I came off of, you know, an injury and I was just like, I just felt great because mm -hmm. I tried so hard and you sacrifice, I sacrificed so much to get to this point. And that was my first competition of the year. So yeah. to come off in first competition, a big meet, and you know, I prevailed. Yeah, everything yes. pays off. You everything know, pays off. Speaking of this injury, and we, we just watched Kevin Durant go through a traumatic injury. Right. Talk to us about what it's like for an elite athlete like yourself and for a Kevin Durant. What what can you give us some insight on what he might be going through? Um, in comparison to what you went through with your injury to get back and to come back as the 10th yeah. farthest jumping triple jump girl in the world. <laughs> <laughs> right. So basically, in the world. Yeah. Right. So basically, I understand injuries, you know, this is just like, you know, if you have, you know, like triple jump is my baby. Mm. And so it's just like if you have a baby, I don't have any children, but if you, you nurture that baby, take care of that baby, you, you know, you make sure you feed the baby like your dream. You're feeding your dream, you're feeding your goal every day, and then you're trying to do everything you can, eating the right meals, you know, waking up at the same, at the right time, getting enough rest, and then you, 
something where in this journey you get directed in another way mm -hmm. yeah. and you think you're climbing to the top and then let's say you just trip and fall down the stairs and it's kind of like that feeling yeah if you're like going up and you're like oh my god i'm sailing to my goals and i'm almost there and you sacrifice so much and then you just fall boom yeah wow. so it's kind of like you know you may experience some depression you may experience some feel is isolated or kind of down and mm -hmm. you know that's kind of like what I, what I felt when I tore my groin. So yeah. I was kind of down. I felt Oof. I went through depression. I, I prayed. I, I was fasting. I still was sad. You know, I don't right. know how to get over. But it was other things that I put through to, you know, try mm -hmm. to in, inspire myself. Right. Yeah. You know, things like that. So because you're a champion. That's right. right. That's how it a goes. Champion right. Right. Mindset right. and right. got yourself on through. Speaking yeah. of being mm -hmm. a champion, you are preparing for the 2020 Olympics. Yes, I yeah. am. I mean, you talked us a little bit about like what you do, but what is your regimen every single day outside of the weights and everything? But it, it has to look like something every single day, obviously. Well, it looks like getting up at 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Going to the pool, and That's once I cool. get down, it's kind of like eat, sleep, train. I get done with the pool, I go eat, then I go to the weight room. After I get from the weight room, I may do like another, I may go back to the track and do something, or I may do, I uh, do home circuits mm -hmm. where I'm doing like single leg squats at home, or this is like something that I do, like, um, I'll call it um, commercial abs, yeah. where I put my bar stools together and do uh, leg raises, like I hold the sides and oh, wow. leg raises. So yeah. just different things. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice, That's stretching, right. but yoga. We, we want to see you at, in 2020 to say yeah. she's heading down to the circle. They're going to crystal, y'all. They're going to crystal. They're going to crystal. We're going to be talking about it every morning. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, thank Crystal. You so we are so excited yes. for you. Good luck in 2020. We already claim it in his name, okay? Yes. We'll be watching. If you want more information on what's going on with Crystal, be sure to follow her on Instagram. She is a part of a nonprofit that she's working with. She's all about the community and, of course, all about that triple jump. We'll yeah, be right man. there.